Hi there. Welcome to I Fix My Car Myself and uh, Challenger Restoration and this tiny, tiny garage. Today I'll be uh, working with a couple of fenders. You can see them here. I will uh, show you a little bit more what they look like before I start to work with them. But first I feel that I got some explanation to do. I haven't been working with the car uh, as much as, as I would like to for at least a year. There have been other things coming in between. I show you what I mean. Uh, the first thing is this garage is tiny and we felt we need a, a, a bigger garage. That's one thing. But then we had also another thing coming in between. So, these fenders are not in a really good shape. Perhaps some of you would say, why even bother to try to repair them? But I will try to do that. You can see there are some holes here previous repairs smaller accident there something happened also here there are some dings and dents a little bit all over here there is a hole over here And the other one is not much better. A hole over here. A little bit down there. And this one has also some repairs over here. So what I will do is I will put the camera on a tripod and uh, as you can see this fender has previously been uh, hemi orange with a black that's what they look in the inside there is some rust protection here and well if they would have been doing this a little bit better they wouldn't have rusted so much there's another little hole here yeah you can see it there anyhow i will try to take these apart I haven't done it before with these type of fenders but we'll see how that goes stay tuned First thing I do is I try to find where uh, the spot wells are and I mark the center with this.
sometimes this tool is a little bit difficult to use so I to center in the in the spot well so I take a usual drill and I make a hole right through it in that way this little uh, nail will center easier in the spot well then I use some lubricant Now I now I've drilled out all the spot wells around here and also in this part there are some here there now it should be enough for the screwdriver There it is. And here is the fender. Some repairs are going to be necessary here, but it doesn't look too bad. This is also a spot where rust and water easily. Next step in the process is maybe not so funny as as what it looked like. What we have to do is to get rid of all the all the rust protection. And uh, the way I do it is with the help of a heat gun and this tool. It's not much to say about it. You just heat it and you follow with, uh, with uh, this tool. I can't show it because I am holding my hand, my camera with my, my other hand here. Uh, some people will leave it as long as, as what it is but I don't do that because what you can see under the layers of, of the rust protection there will be cracks in the rust protection and uh, you will see that it starts to rust underneath the layers of, of the rust protection here's another spot so I what I do is I, I remove it and then I will apply a layer of new rust protection when that, when that time comes. Okay.